hello. I've just got that lampshade. It's filthy. I do create a lot of dust in this area. Anyway, I've just got to work, put my apron on. Um, I'm off today for a, I'm not off, off work, I mean, I mean I'm going out today. I've got an NHS MOT. I saw them advertised somewhere. I might have even got a letter through the post. I can't remember now. To go and have an L, a health MOT. And I like getting checkups because I think it's good to know whether you're all right or not. I think they're going to do my cholesterol. So uh, I'll go and have that done. I need to get a couple of little bits from town. So I'll go and do that today. Hopefully it will be all right. Ian has just come in. He's got the filthiest feet you ever did see. In fact, I'm going to go and give him his bell so that you can see how filthy they are. Yes, you, you. He's lovely. Um, I've had a lovely walk this morning with Lily and we went on a much longer one than we normally do. And she really, really enjoyed it and didn't want to stop. So we kept going. Right, I'm going to give Ian his bell. And then I'm going to make some zips for this bag, these bags. I really like these. So lovely. Rightio, everybody. I'm going to go and give Ian his bell. Look at his feet. So the back ones aren't too bad, are they? Wait till you see the front ones. Look at these. Whatever have you been doing? Well, they're still lovely though, aren't they? You look like you've got grey feet today. You've been having a great time. Anyway, are you going to ring your bell so you can get some treats? Look at his filthy feet. I love his little filthy feet. Come on, Ian. Can't you be bothered? Oh, I love his noises. Listen. That's him. Well, this is boring. Come on, look. We won't get treats. She's distra He's distracted because Lillian's just come in. Come on, my baby. He's giving me a beautiful smile. Come on. Oh. Very nice, worth the wait. I was going to try and film a little bit of this free motion embroidery. I don't know if that's what you call it, but the writing that I do for the front of bags. But um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold the camera. But I don't use a foot. I don't draw on here or write anything. I've lowered these bits here, the feed dogs. And... Um, some people use a bouncy foot with a spring on it, but I don't. I I get on a lot better with just the needle. And, um, yeah, I don't, I just, some people will write and then write over the top of the writing with a water-soluble pen. That's what I was thinking. Or an air-erasable one. There's all sorts of things. But I don't. I just have it plain. Right, I'm going to try and put it, the camera. I'm sitting at a funny angle. You're in my bra, believe it or not. Oh, I'm having to sit at a weird angle. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to write I love knitting.
lost the teeth. I've got the eyes now. I don't know if you can see any of this, can you? There you go, all done. I've just got back from having my health check done. And it was well worth it. They did everything. Well, not not everything. But, oh, I can't find my little piece of paper now. Here we are. Is it? So I've got good cholesterol, which is good. I was worried about that. And good blood pressure. They, they did my waist circumference. That was good. And um, I've got a 1% chance, according to their stuff that they've done, of having a heart attack or stroke in the next 10 years. And the expected is 1.2% going by all of my age and all that sort of stuff. So she said that was good. I'm glad I went and had that done. I feel very, very reassured. Obviously, I'm not selling this because it isn't for sale, but you can go and book in and have one. Maybe I'll put the link underneath. Oh, Lillian's curious, so I've been away. Come on. And the funny thing was, the nurse who was doing it, she kept looking at me and then she was saying, I know you, I know you. And then I looked at her and I thought, I know you as well. And she, when I was working as a practice nurse, she came and spent the afternoon with me one afternoon in my clinic she remembered me right I'm gonna go now and have something to eat back to work so I've done three I love knittings and two and I don't know if people think this is a bit daft but I've put two I've done two my lovely knitting because <laughs> it is lovely isn't it Right, I'm going to put these on the front of the bags now. I don't think I'm going to get them done tonight. I don't think I'm going to have time. Oh, well, we'll see how we get on. The kettle's about to click. I've finished for the day. The zip bags are all done. I think I like this grey the best. So I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea. I think I'll put these in my shop tomorrow. Because I have, hang on. Got some more, which I've done double wiggle stitch on. That I'm going to make into uh, to drawstring bags. But I'll do that tomorrow. And I've got enough left to do some pouches. So I'll do that tomorrow. And I'll probably put them in my shop. Well, I'll definitely put them in my shop tomorrow. Um, I'd say about six o'clock. Yes, yeah, so if anyone's interested, that's where they'll be. I just thought I'd show you how I'm getting on with these lovely, lovely socks. I'm so pleased with them. Aren't they beautiful? I don't know if I said yesterday. I think I did, though, but I did get a few comments saying, what are they? These are called the Crunkled Socks by Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears. And it's uh, Speckled the Eggs by Green Lambkin Yarn. It's beautiful. I can't wait to do a bit more on them tonight. Lovely jubbly. I have had communication from Peter. And we will be meeting tomorrow for breakfast. Which I'm looking forward to. I've even looked at the menu. And I've decided what I'm going to have already. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to that. Ian has unfortunately decided that he would like to start sleeping in the litter tray. The litter tray is clean. It was Doug's. But after he died, I left it out. Because I didn't know whether any of the other cats used it. And it turns out they don't. So they've decided to make use of it. And sleep in it. Pam had a couple of 
No, not a couple of months, that's an exaggeration. A few weeks in it, and now she's moved on to a different area of the house, and now Ian has got in it. We use paper litter, and it is very, very warm. So I can sort of see the attraction. But I know that Ian has used that tray in the past, so he should know, really, what it's supposed for supposed to be for but never mind oh, i feel one side of my face go really hot i've just cooked two teas i thought i'd got out of this but um i'd got stuff for everybody and then one thing for everybody then meg asked if her friend could stay for tea i said yeah of course but then thought oh but there's not going to be enough for me and James, so I defrosted a load of prawns, got it in my head I was having prawn stir fry and then the friend didn't end up staying so there would have been enough for us but I'd already got it in my head I was having a prawn stir fry. So that's what I've had, but it's all sorted. A weird noise. Right, I'm going to go, I'll be back in a little while I should think. I've just looked it up. And um, I don't think you can book yourself in for an NHS health check. I don't know how I did it. I think I got a letter through the through the post from my GP inviting me for one and telling me where there'd be a clinic. And I looked it up and you do have to be invited and you can get invited every five years. So if you want one, I think you might have to ask your GP. I don't know. Or... Google, <laughs> I'm gonna say Google it. How rude of me. We do, I'll tell you what though, we have got a local group on Facebook, and um, a lot of people like ask for the opening times of stuff. And I always think, why don't you just Google it? Like bank holidays and stuff. When's the next bank holiday? And I think, well, look it up. Google it. Don't ask Tim from down the road. Hello, Lillian. Come on, would you like to come and have a nice cuddle with me? Come on, come on. She's getting in her bed. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, you've got to... Look it up for your area. I loved having that. I've Honestly, I've been running on about it all day to James. As soon as he come in from work, I told him my height, which is five foot eight, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's all I've spoken about all day. It's like when I give blood, I, that's all I talk about as well. You don't hear the end of it. I don't go out very much, isn't it? It's been the highlight of my, what you say, month? You've been around, haven't you? So far, oh no, I've been, the, I've been on a train journey and a bus ride. Because he's got the hiccups, I can hear it. Right, I'm going to go. I'll see you in a little while. Oh no, look. Ian, what's happened to you? Look how he's got his feet, isn't it wonderful? Oh dear. It is nice litter though. It is nice. I can un sort of understand it, but also feel slightly judgmental about it. Oh, Ian. I spontaneously decided I'm going to have a bath. So I'm going to go. And I can't wait. I want to get it done quick. What? Oh, he talked to Lillian. Look, I told you I could feel my face go red. I'm going to have a bath because I want to watch The Apprentice final tonight. And me and James want to watch a programme about some men who uh, got drunk and bought a racehorse. Which sort of sounds like something I'd do. Right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Before I go, what do you think has been the highlight of my day? Yeah, you've guessed it. My health check. I loved it.
poor Peter isn't going to hear the end of it tomorrow. Right, I'll see you all in the morning. Goodbye. Probably. That's the tumble dryer if you heard something. If you heard something. Or if you can hear something now, listen. It stopped. See you later.